Hey, it's Hannah. So this vlog today is going to be about the wedding. I'm going to just kind of walk you through um, how it went. And at the end, I'm going to kind of add some tips and tricks that I um, kind of learned from the wedding. So after the video, so we went to the church and we got ready. And she had two hair people and one makeup person. And as soon as we got there, we just like started rolling because there were eight bridesmaids plus... Um, the mother of the groom, mother of the bride, um, the flower girl. There's, like, a lot of people that had to get hair and makeup done. So, like, we got there and we got started. And then after we got started, we kind of, like, took turns. Like, people would do hair and then makeup. And then the rest of us kind of chilled. It was, like, super nice. I've been to some weddings. I photographed some weddings with my friend. And I was kind of in the background of it. And one thing I realized is, like, this one was, like, pretty chill. Like, the ones I went to is, like, always awkward. And, like, this was, like, fun. Like, everyone somewhat knew each other. And so, it was really fun. So, we all got ready. And then, um, we didn't have any water. <laughs> so, I had to call my uncle. And my uncle brought some water so that we all had water. And then, later, my aunt and uncle got some lunch for everybody, which was super nice. And then, after we all got ready, we took some pictures before the ceremony. And that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm super excited to see all of the photos. We haven't seen them yet, but I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks that we will see them. So after the photos were done, it was time for the ceremony, and it was like it was hard, it's hard to believe because like I grew up with my cousin, and it was like whoa, like he's getting married. It was like he's like only like a year and a half older than me, almost two years older than me. I think, and it's just like so weird to think that like we were like little kids together, and like now <laughs> he's getting married. So that was like whoa. Um, it was fun walking down the aisle. I will admit, I'm not good at walking in heels, and I was in heels and a dress. I didn't fall, but, uh, I kind of lost my footing on the top step trying to get, um, to the stage, but I didn't fall. <laughs> it was all good. It was a really sweet ceremony, and then we, after the ceremony, we took some pictures, which was really fun, and I got to catch up with some of my family I haven't seen in a while, and then after the wedding, we went to the reception, and we had an entrance, and that was fun. And then we had um, dinner and the dancing. And one fun thing about the reception is I caught the bouquet. I had told the bride that I wanted to catch the bouquet because I had a perfect caption for it for Instagram. And then, sure enough, I caught the bouquet. So that was super fun. As soon as I caught it, I looked at my boyfriend and I, like, winked. <laughs> and, yeah, so that was super duper fun. So, it was a, such an honor to be a part of the wedding, and I'm really glad to be in the wedding because I feel like when you're in a wedding, you like, learn so much, and, like, what you want to do and what, like, you don't want to do in a wedding. And I've been, this is the first wedding I've been in, but I've, um, there's, like, two other weddings that I helped my friend, uh, photograph, and just, like, being in those, you kind of realize what you do and what you don't want. So, one thing I learned is that if you have... A good amount of bridesmaids you need like a lot more hair people than you think we were running a tad bit late because there's like eight of us and there's so many people just having to get their hair and makeup done and so i think like if i have my eight bridesmaids i'm going to need like four people for hair and like two people for makeup just so we can get people in and out but also i talked with like another friend and she was like well sometimes the girls like doing their makeup because they feel more confident when they do it and so maybe I'll have my bridesmaids do their makeup. I don't know. I know nothing about makeup. So I know that I will need someone to do my makeup. Another thing that you don't really think about is that you have to, like, eat before the wedding. Because it's important that everyone's, like, fueled and ready to go. And so, like, you have to, like, plan out, like, what you're going to eat. But, like, you don't want to eat before you get into your wedding dress. But, like, you don't want to eat something too, like, heavy that, like, you don't feel good. And so I think from... Um, when I get married, I will like, have salad or something for the bridesmaids to eat. So, I also know that, okay, I love music. I love jamming. And so, my plan is to have, like, a um, playlist of, like, all the songs that like, my bridesmaids have recommended. And we're just going to, like, jam out <laughs> while we are getting ready to um, get ready for the wedding. Another thing that you really don't think about is how you are going to get... From the church to the reception. Like, before, I, like, didn't really... You just don't even... You just know that the reception is after the wedding. And you're like, oh, I have to get there. 
I know um, my other cousin that got married a couple years ago, they had a party bus to get from the wedding to the reception. And then for this wedding, we drove, like, my parents. So it's kind of interesting to see how different people do it. I have, like, no idea what I'm going to do for my wedding. So I am a little bit untraditional, and I have a really fun idea instead of doing a bouquet. I know the bouquet toss is really fun because it's, like, whoever catches it is, like, going to get married next. But I have a really fun idea for my um, not bouquet toss. I'm not going to say it now because I'll explain it to you later. But also... I don't understand the point of a garter toss. I think I'm going to, like, recreate that for my wedding, and we're going to do something a little less traditional. Another thing that I'm looking forward to at my wedding is swing dancing. There wasn't a lot of swing dancing at this wedding. Um, ben and I actually ended up swing dancing to the chicken dance because we just wanted to swing dance. I love swing dancing. So that is one thing that I'm looking forward to. So now I'm going to insert some pictures. The first picture I will insert is a picture of me in my bridesmaid's dress. The second picture I will insert is a picture of me and Ben. And then the third one I'll insert is a picture of me and Ben after I caught the bouquet. That is all I can, like, really think of, of, like, kind of tips and tricks that I've learned or whatever through um, being in a wedding and phot photographing two weddings. If you have any other ideas, comments, or leave them below, and I'll see you later. Bye.